everyone, Mikuna here. Today I want to do a review of the new Sakura Miku Nendroid. I believe this is the first Nendroid that was made in Good Smell Company's new Japanese factory, so it's really cool. And she's also Nendroid number 500. I can't believe they made that many Nendroids, it's so awesome. But she is one of my favorite versions of Miku. I just love her design. I think she's so simple but cute. I love the flowers in her hair. And this one is really cool because it comes with some extra accessories, a little flower petal and a dongle piece. And she also has some braided hair pieces. One thing to note about this box is that there is a different finish across the whole thing. I think they did that so it kind of had more of a cherry blossom feel. So I kind of have a love-hate relationship with it. I think it, it looks nice in that sense, but I don't like that it covers the picture. But it was an interesting concept to try for this Nendroid. They also have more of an open window in front of the box. But anyway, let's get started with the review. I'll show you the front of the box. There we have the window showing the Nendroid in a nice display with her accessories. And then on the front, it is pretty standard except for, again, the different type of mat they decided to use all over the box. Finally, we have the back of the box. Again, the pictures are covered by this finish. It's kind of... It's a little bit fuzzy. It's, it's very interesting. I never thought they would use it for a box. So after you take Miku out of the box, there's a pretty background with different cherry blossom flowers and petals. Sakura Miku comes with a lot of different accessories. So starting from the left, we have two bent arm pieces holding a bottle. I believe this is for a sake. And then the one above that is a little cup. Then we have a tray that she can hold with both hands to hold some of her different accessories. Next to that we have a bent leg piece and below that are the dongo and the sakura petal piece. Then we have two extra hand pieces for holding the sakura petal and the dongo. She also comes with two extra braided hair pieces that can be switched out with her pigtails. Next we have her two additional face plates which I absolutely love. The one on the left looks like she drank a little bit too much, it's so cute. And the one on the right is just kind of a happy, excited face, also very adorable. It might be a little bit hard to see on camera but there are little um, blush marks on her cheeks. She also comes with a standard direction sheet, stand, and additional neck joint piece. Next we'll take a look at the Nendoroid itself and she is beyond adorable. I absolutely love her. The paint is spot on. I don't see any issues whatsoever. I even think um, with the new facility, you can definitely tell the quality is even better than before. At least with this Nendoroid, there's no production issues. She just looks fantastic. I love the gloss on her hair and all the little small detail designs. So I'm just going to spin her around for you so you can get a good look at her. Here's the side and the back side. I also love how bright the colors are. She's a very colorful nendroid and definitely reminds me of the springtime. What's nice is part of her pigtail is a little bit translucent so I really like that effect. Her articulation is the same as most nendroids. The only thing that is a little bit different that you'll find with all the Miku nendroids is that her pigtails move which is really great and this actually comes out so you can switch it with the braided pigtails. Thank you. 
concludes my review of the Sakura Miku Nendoroid. I am very happy to have her. She is amazing. The quality from the new Japanese facility is amazing. The Nendoroid really looks great overall. I think what makes this Nendoroid so much fun is all of her accessories that you can play around with and her adorable face plates. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos and reviews. Till next time!